Hello everyone and welcome back to Habzix Plays Mass Effect Andromeda on Insanity and today we are going to start by settling our first outpost. Let's go ahead and give them the call and see how everyone's doing. Very much so make the Nexus's day. Also excited to change my this armor is where again. We'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. Ooh. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. Meaningless choices, Surprise. everybody. You could build a military outpost, focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. This is a big decision that doesn't matter. I've been choosing this outpost's direction for decades. Maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. I thought it was we finding paths. That the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Oh, man. I know this choice doesn't matter. I almost think science is a little bit better, even though... Yeah, I'll go science. Why not? I'll go with my heart. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. A meaningless choice, everyone. But I still made it, so let's go. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. Looks like I path found something, Addison. Oh god, that is some really bad graphics here. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Nice to meet you, Bradley. Now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Take good care of it. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. We also got this spot Rotromos. set up real fast. That's what we're calling her. What? They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Oh, you're here. Eos is far from golden. Did you but just drop fully assembled houses a from the sky? Reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. Like the Nexus. I warned them. Really? Hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. What's your game, Addison? What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be skeptical of you, bitch. The you were a bitch! Rider, you brought us time, but one outpost on a longshot planet won't stop us from starving. Yep, there it is. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. Yes, it does. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. Uh, I can handle myself. Don't worry. I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. Also, I'm phasing we through that scarf. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. No, I don't want to talk to you. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. I don't want to talk to him either. All right. Well, I guess I can't. Oh, Path the Hero. Okay. What? <laughs> Whatever. I. Radiation levels increasing. Uh, I'm not gonna just drop down there, though. That could be fun. I'll drop here. <laughs> Yeah, I did it. Cool. Let's get down here and see. Nope. I still want that to be... Oh, I have side missions and other things. What is what is all that? What is that? Memory trigger, huh? Activate that. Get the memory trigger. And then I guess I'll talk to... I guess I'll talk to other people after that. Uh... 
radiation levels within acceptable limits. Hey, nice turret defense. Is stable. I guess I can get these missions. Oh, do I want to get these missions or do I want to get the missions later? I'm not going to do them now because EOS is kind of annoying. Really all those scientists will be safe out here. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Already getting requests from the Pedromos labs. Oh, uh, that's Bradley right there. Let me get this trigger and I'll talk to you, Bradley. Memory trigger. Anything? Another eidetic trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Good to know. Let's also look at the map. There are a couple missions here that I'm not going to worry about, but I will talk to Bradley and see what he has to say. What's up? Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. Okay. It's worth it when it's your own. Don't overlook yourselves. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. Um, you go do okay. What you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions. Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. Oh, uh, yeah, they never knew what hit them. Sure, the why not? Two outposts didn't have a chance. Also, clear to everyone on the ground. I'm still baffled by the buildings the just dropping from I'm the sky fully sure made. Every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Yeah, well, I'm glad you didn't. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Okay. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's leave and not launch into any of this stuff since I will have to come back here later. So let's head over to the Tempest. And then we will go to the Nexus, I guess, and probably spend the rest of the episode there. I'd be surprised if we do anything besides spend time at... Well, I guess I'll be on the Tempest. So yeah, probably Tempest and Nexus will be the rest of the episode because I need to change a little bit of color stuff. I need to... Just, there's a lot to do. A lot of meaningless meandering go. which might be the title of this episode who knows meaningless meandering are we automatically going back or can i actually look around for a minute I'll tell you whenever the screen decides it's done loading. Circles. Yay. Come on. Thank you. Ah, Before cool. the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drag. <laughs> Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there you're, if that's okay. You're going to sleep in the kitchen? And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. <laughs> that's fantastic. Cool. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Whatever, it's cool. We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's adventure. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. And survived. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. I mean, we're not all as badass as you. Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people. Cora, fuck off. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, he's cool with it. Never mind. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. 
We need to not go off half-cocked. I mean... There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Yeah. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Get along. Let's be kind <laughs> and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Be kind, rewind. Living a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. <laughs> but not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I mean, I thought so. And now, I'm not going to worry about augmentation, because I... What are you... I can use no calls. Okay, let's start by, I guess, going area by area. Looks like people might have some things to say. I'm working with Vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. Oh, Lexi's here. That's cool. I'm going to finally check on these guys. Let's see how they all did. That's one. Two. Three, four, five. Ah, failure. I'm so disappointed in you guys. All right, let's go do some of these. We'll put you guys in. With you, we'll put uh, some strike team. We will put, yeah, you guys in. Why not? You guys, you, you, I'm not even looking at the presents because I don't care. Let's see what prizes I got. I can't open them all at once. Let's credits, credits, don't care. Cool, whatever, research data, item loot. Carbine, uh, nickel, uranium, and more money. Cool. Now, Lexi, do you have anything new to say? So we have okay. I was going to say, you're just going to stare at me for a you while? PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you <laughs> that one's got commitment issues. Good to know. Uh, crew morale. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. That's convenient. No, I don't care. Actually, um, never mind. I'll see you around. I don't care oh, about having these it. side conversations with you guys. You um, I guess since I'm right here, I can check on Cora. Let's see what's up, Cora. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Oh, yeah, you like plants. I forgot about that. Are you growing weed? Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. Are you growing weed on our ship? That's fine. I, I mean, I, I'd like to know. There. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I take hush money I in the form of hash. Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and... Oh, roses. Is that sometimes. what we're saying? No, oh, you're romantic. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. Oh, ho, ho. I got plenty under here, pal. Ho, ho. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot, too? I might. It's not very soft right For now. Someone's. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. I still don't care about that. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. So you got fired. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. That was cold. Wow. I'll warm you. You fight side by side, and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still... That's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. 
Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. Can you stop, like, being turned on by my dad? What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He could inspire. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought my I rose knew what bud. I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Cora, do you want to be the rose buddy or the rose buddy? Uh? Your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. None of this is fair. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're... I know, Liam's on the team. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Ha ha. Sounds good. Now let's... Um, I think, yeah, the stairs are here, so I'll go through there last. I'll hit those three up last. Um, we'll go down here first. Uh, I probably have emails, and I guess I'll go to my cabin, work my way down here, and then back. Could probably check and see. Cash. Oh, he's on the phone. That's cute. Uh, what's this? Have you settled in yet? Yeah, got all my stuff. What? I got a model. That's cool. Um, assigned for assistance to Ryder from Doc Ardana. I don't know. Hello, Ryder. Forgive the intrusion. I have an issue that you and Sam should be able to readily solve. It may assist my investigations into the Scourge. We can discuss it in person at the Nexus Labs. My regards to you and Sam, Dr. Aridana. Whatever. Sure. Oh, shit. Okay. How many do I... The Brothers McCoy. Um, Two Rider from Nigel McCoy. Dear Pathfinder Rider, my brother Dash was my best friend. It still pains me that he's gone, that we won't build the future here in Andromeda together, but knowing that our family penance are united does my heart good. When my wife and I settle here and start a family, our firstborn will carry my brother's name, and hopefully he or she will become my new best friend. Oh, that's kind of sweet. My sincerest hopes to accompany you and your team. Nigel, archive. Uh, to Ryder from Cora. Thanks for talking. Things feel better, though they don't feel fixed yet. Remember to take time for yourself, too. Work's important, but so is time to grieve. Grief and fear cannot rule you. Let them be your faithful servants, protective of their mistresses, of their mistress. Loss serves a huntress like fuel serves fire. S. Theresa, 12 leaves, verse 132. Cora. P.S. Plants are coming along. Sam and I are learning about botany together. Interesting times. That's cute. Cora, stop emailing me. I don't even know how many emails I have right now. Two writer from Cora. Can still smell the remnant vault on my armor. A lot of weird shit down there. Like my huntress manuals would say, the razor's edge between known and unknown teaches you that you can be cut away. Now I think back, it reminds me. It reminded me a little bit of some of the temples on Thessia. Same huge spaces of and running water. Same sense of a huge purpose. You can't really understand. Makes me wonder if we'll ever really know what their builders did there, Cora. Holy shit! Okay, you know what? How many of these? Oh man, I'm not gonna read all these. This there's so many. I don't care about those. Archive, archive. I don't need that. Uh, don't really care. Sorry. I'm definitely not reading that. You're the boss. Thanks, Vetra. My paper. Suvi, I'm not going to read your paper. Thanks. Um, about your dad. Writer from Drac. <laughs> this is fun. 
Vetra told me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up or at least a distraction. This usually helps me. Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate images. Many are low res or watermarked. Drac. I love you, Drac. Um, don't care. Yoga poses. Who wants me to do yoga? Lexi wants me to do yoga? Okay. Uh, PB. Thanks. And I'm not going to read all that. Yeah. Yeah, that one broke me. There's way too many emails. It broke. I'm going to change my casual collar real quick. Nope. Hoodie. Customized collar. Think, yeah, you're the one that I want to change. I'm not a big fan of... You know what? I might just go black on gray. We'll go with that for now. Cool. Let's... See how Drac is doing. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. <laughs> oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent. Thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Ah, uh, we like trouble here. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Uh, I like the way you think. <laughs> I like the way you think. Mm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably <laughs> Tam. Damn politicians. Yeah, I'm fine with Is that. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. That's fair. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Yeah, what about Cash? Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for Fair me, enough. I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Uh... I understand why you left. Yeah, I'm kind of on side there. Come first. Keeping cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. <laughs> Can't argue. With I can that. help you there. All right, that was a good conversation. Um, where is? Can I see? Gosh, dang it! Can I see where everyone is real quick? Map. Um, don't need to talk to Sam. Talk to you already. Uh, we got Vetra and Liam. Oh boy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's just shit, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, my Pie Jack friend. Is Pie Jack over here? Pie Jack. Pie Jack pal. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? I'm not looking at that. But your room's got more of a view. Yes, it does. Where's my pie jack? I hear you. Where are you? I don't see you. Oh, he's on the bed. Is that your bed? Is that your bed, buddy? Hey, little guy. Check your helmet before you put it on. This scratch? He was sleeping. <laughs> that is awesome. Who's a good boy? Okay, let's hit up. Oh, God damn it. Let's just get this over with. Prodromos. Prodromos. Did you hit your head or that something? Was great, doesn't it? We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. No. Um. Cool. Goodbye. We'll talk later. I know it. Unfortunately, that is a true statement. I'm not a fan of that statement, but it is unfortunately true. Hey, Vetra, can I hit on you again? Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no I like the idea murder bubbles. What was about, did we? It was an adventure. <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. I mean, moving's Point not that thinking. bad. I'm just saying. Unpacking's worse. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Nope. I'm winging it. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good. Since you're probably going to have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. Anyone special in your life? Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, 
someone special. I could throw my peanut special? butter in that jelly. Oh, you mean like, oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. No, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Hopefully soon. Anywhere is going to feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. Ah, uh, yep, I'll see you. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Yeah, I like that this game broke the emails. I just, oh, there's so many. I didn't want to read them all. The font is so small. I have to turn my head to look at the big TV to be able to read it. And my eyesight's actually pretty good. My monitor's just kind of small. Uh, my mic also makes me sit a little further away than I would like, but it's my desk. Really, it's my mic and the desk. Uh, where is, what's his face? Um, oh, he's over there, right? Yeah, it's Gil. I've already talked to Lexi. I talked to Cora. So Gil and then those three. And then Nexus. That's not bad. I was actually getting a little worried there for a second. I wasn't going to go back to the Nexus in this episode, but I should. What's up, Gil? You have anything to say? Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Ah, just stopping in. Um, do you have any friends? What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. That's cool. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. <laughs> And that's why this is going to go quicker than I thought, because I let, uh, not Lexi, PB is probably the last one who's going to have anything to say. Callow and Subi might have a little bit. I doubt it, though. Ah, uh, let us check in with PB. What's up? You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. That's cool. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey. I cannot. I like that about it. I, I, I need comfort when I sleep. Home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Yeah, slow down. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Not really. Something like that? Sure. Well... I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, writer. Why As of right now, she's the only one I can't romance I because I, field, I need to get that trophy too. The mysteries of this galaxy. So it's either going to be Cora or Vetra right now. Got tired of yawning, but I'll still flirt with her. You crave excitement, huh? Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. Did I say that out loud? Oh, no. Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Sleep is an excellent cure. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. That's if fair. one thing you should know Probably about Shepard. Me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's all I need to know. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes, I'm number one. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Probably alcohol. Then again, I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're going to love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Is that the only thing you'll submit to? Remtech, huh? You got it. Okay, um, Callow and Suvi, and then we can, I guess, have the Nexus. What's up, Callow? Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained, and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. I mean, you should ask. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, no, I'm going to worry a little bit. I'll talk to you here in a second again. Suvi, what's up? Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It does have beauty. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. 
Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just if only I was playing as Sarah. Alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Divine intelligence? You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. That's all right. I'm a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. I feel the same. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself. I understand so you, Suvi. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. If only as I was Sarah. It could be diminished by the search for truth. Yeah, don't justify it. Just do you, babe. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. Okay. We'll talk later. What do you do? Like, you just scan things for us? That seems like kind of a meaningless job. Cal, do you have anything else to say? What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't care. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Let's go to the Nexus. And, unfortunately, talk to Tan. Uh, system overview. I think I did everything here, right? 100%. All right, cool. Let's... Are you at 100%? 100%. 100%. 100%. All right. Let's go talk to freaking Tan. Can I skip this? Nope. Cool. We're gonna wait! Yeah, get back to the Nexus. Probably into the episode once we, like, a little bit after getting back. I don't know. Familiar we'll do a little territory. bit. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey all. Um, but we're still gonna go back to the Nexus. Apparently I have these cryo perks I have to work with. I could skip this one, but I'm already almost done. I was going to say, that looks like a planet, not the Nexus, but okay, cool. We're going to land. Uh, wow, actually, I have a decent amount to do. Oh, the firefighter is already starting. Cool. Let's, yeah, dock. Confirm. So I'll be on the Nexus, at least at the start of the next one. I've got a couple things I need to do. Since I'm not offlining nearly as much as I thought I was going to. But we'll at least get our heroes welcome. I can skip it if I want. <laughs> But I don't trust that, because I think he'll skip the scene and not the loading screen. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. Yep. We thought that before. You look but your eyes were messed up, right? dude. Pathfinder. Alright, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. It's a good day to party. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll How do you know mysteries. about that? The whole Nexus will benefit. Sure, whatever. I'm still I, I still want to know how you know. But this proves we'll always get up again. I always. get knocked down, well, but I get up again. For? You're There's never going to keep me down. Thank you, Ryder. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a quicker reception than I thought. Let's look at the map. And it looks like the bar's open, maybe. Is that the bar? Is the bar open? Uh, we'll see. Is Are all the shops open? Can I buy stuff for my car now? We'll sprint for a second. Is that... Yay, vehicle shop. Cool. Any new colors? I said vehicle shop. Thank you. Um... Blood pack, hex, honeycomb. Kinda don't care about those, but I'll get them. Why not?
Uh, sure, confirm. Oh yeah, I've got a decent amount of money. Okay. I'll check out other things around here later. Ooh, actually, real quick, map. That is... Okay. Guess I'll... Oh, dang it, there's something else up there. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on some of this stuff. And we'll finish the episode after doing a little bit of it. What is over? There's something over there, too. But let's start here. Since I got an email from you. Thanks for the lab. Cool. Uh, you, what's up? No, talk to me. Thank you. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. The answer's 42. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Cool. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. <laughs> Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. That sounds I dangerous. I optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Is that, like, bass music outside of my house, or is it in the game find that out later what's going on over here looks like something oh this what's up what's the trouble i've got power shortages throughout the station i can't for the life of me find the cause oh whoa you you're the pathfinder yep hey sorry please ignore me you've got way more important things to do I'm happy to help, but it is true. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Nope. Go back to map. What is that? Is that broken wire? This is a task. Gosh dang it. I hate tasks. What are you? Are you still broken wires? I don't... Okay, whatever. Um, Sure. Let's see if there's anything to scan around here. Get the scanner up. I have to freaking scan things, apparently. What? What am I looking for? What do you want from me? Over here. Can I even go in there? Uh, what am I looking for? Hold on. Journal. Broken wires. Okay, so there's... What am I looking for? Nothing is really changing. It looks like it's in there, so I will go in there and hope that that is the case. There's something. Damage equipment. Okay. First piece is found. What's over here? And yes, I'm primarily doing this for XP. Is there damaged equipment in here? Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Scan to assess call. the nature of the damage. We're just getting things up and running. Scan what? I'm looking for the nature of the damage. Oh. Okay. Cool, I got it. Uh, then investigate in operations as well. Okay, well, I'm not concerned about operations right now, unless that's where I'm going next, in which case I'm a little concerned about operations. Um, let us... Operations is probably going to have more than everything else, isn't it? Meh. Real quick, anything else on the map here? Okay, we will just go to wherever. 
still don't really want to talk to Tran. Operations. All right, let's go. Operations is going to have the most, I think. The Leaf Erickson system? Ryder's son has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest in the ongoing search for a home in Ant Okay, let's see. That has a couple things. Better beginning. First murder. Broken wires. Uh, what are you? Cryo deployment. No idea. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, map. Okay, so it's up here. Then I guess I can talk to the first murder situation. Got it. An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. You can track it? Guess I'll do this other one real quick, and then we'll be good with this. How many times have I told oh, you creature. this story? Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit control. responsible for the power shortages. What is it? Capture it! Oh, That's not Alert fun. Professor Herrick to come secure it. Okay, well, we got something. I'll talk to you guys again later. Uh, map. I'll actually go up another one and knock this out. And... What do you want? It isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? Okay. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Thank you for actually giving me the credit I deserve. I don't want to be your secretary. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. Oh, fuck this off. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Oh, did that carry over? Focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. Okay. No pressure. So I guess I'll do this real quick. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka. Hi, Vlad. C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... That does. Too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we are doing. Andromeda viability and... ...are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Um... Yeah, what's well, first? I don't care. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Haha! -ha. I will do that. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, not everything does carry over. That sucks. Okay, commerce, uh, financial, earn credits. Um prices or increase in ooh I might do that military munitions organic materials uh tech ha hidden caches uh 15 okay whatever science I mean that wouldn't be bad either um I'm gonna start with trade pass yeah, yeah wait what Yes, I'm going to start with that. Okay, cool. We're starting with commerce, everybody. And since that's done, I'm actually going to call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and enable notifications so that we can sip that on content. Next time, we're going to start on the Nexus and see if we can continue the story. But if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, go ahead and click the video there in the corner. It will take you back to the beginning of Mass Effect Andromeda. And if you like what you see, head on over to the video section where I have plenty of other great games and there's always more stuff coming down the pike. But in the meantime, I hope everybody stays safe and I will see you all next time.